Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I want to show you the 3D object hologram effect. For this effect you need a 3D model. If you have no 3D model yet then go to turbosquid.com and here you can search for a specific type of your 3D model. So in my example I want a skull 3D model. And now it's really important that your format of your model is an FBX model. So I press this button. And because I'm not Mark Zuckerberg I select the price 3. Now I press left click on this 3D model and after this I press this download button to download my 3D model. And now you can see all my downloads here and I go down to my model. Then I download the skull.fbx file and I download the texture of my skull. And here you can see the two downloaded files so here is the 3D object and here is my texture. So now I only have to unzip my texture. And as you can see we have these four textures now. Now go into DaVinci Resolve and go to Effects. Drag and drop a fusion composition into your timeline and go with this fusion composition into fusion. After that drag and drop your 3D skull object into the node field. Then go to your textures and also drag and drop a texture into the node field. Now try to connect the texture with the object. After that left click your 3D object and press shift and spacebar at the same time. Search for transform 3D. Select Transform 3D and press Add. Now you have to select the Transform 3D node and also press Shift and Spacebar at the same time. Search for Merge 3D. Then select Merge 3D and press Add. Now again press Shift and Spacebar at the same time and search for Renderer 3D. Then you have to select Renderer and press Add. After that again press Shift and Spacebar at the same time and search for Glow. And now it's really important that you select this Glow option and not this option. And you have to press add. After that drag and drop a polygon mask into the node field and connect this polygon mask with the glow node. Then connect the glow node with the media out node and select your merge 3D node and press shift and spacebar at the same time. Search for camera 3D. Click on this option and press add. Then go back to your merge 3D node and press the left view button. Now you can zoom out of this 3D dimension by pressing ctrl and by scrolling with your mouse wheel. And after this I drag the camera out of my 3D object with the blue arrow. And now you should see your 3D model pretty well. So now go to your renderer 3D node and change the renderer type from software renderer to OpenGL renderer. After that go to your FBX mesh 3D object and tick the wireframe box. And the result looks like this for now. Now go to the transform 3D node. Then you have to make sure that you are at frame 0. Now go back to your transform 3D node and increase the scale to your liking. After that create a keyframe and go 20 frames to the right. Now click on this little dot and the size should be normal. Go back to frame 0 and create a keyframe at your Y rotation. Then go to your last frame and increase the Y rotation value to your liking. Now you have to activate the spline tab. And here you have to highlight all of the keyframes and press Alt and S at the same time. And now the animation is much more smoother. And now go to your glow node. Here you have to set the shine threshold to 0 and also decrease the spread to 0. After you've done this go to your polygon mask. Zoom out of this window with Ctrl and your mouse wheel and create a little mask for the glow. Increase the soft edge a little bit. And now go back to frame 0. Now increase the center Y value of your mask so that the mask is no longer in the transparent background. Create a keyframe and go 60 frames to the right. Now decrease the center Y value so that the mask is under the transparent background. Again go 60 frames to the right and increase the center Y value so that the mask is over the transparent background. Now again go to the spline tab and highlight the center displacement keyframes. Now press Alt and S at the same time. And the animation is much more smoother. And the 3D object hologram effect is done. I hope this tutorial has helped you. If so then leave a like or a sub to my channel. Here you can see another nice video. Thanks for your attention. Stay creative and bye.